Hey guys, so Apple iPhone 14 might have an expensive design and a powerful CPU. Now a few days back we heard Apple iPhone 14 series A16 Bionic CPU may not use 3nm process cause of TSMC production issue which is a huge shocker cause Qualcomm, Oppo and even Exynos will jump to 3nm process late next year. And that is around same time Apple launches the iPhone 14 series. But Apple might still turn the cards. This is what drives us to create the best iPhone possible. Some good news coming in from TSMC and DigiTimes. Apple won't be sticking with same 5nm CPU in the iPhone 14. Yeah, they might use an enhanced variant of 4nm process which when combined with iOS 16 and their optimization might give a tough competition to Qualcomm's 9 series CPU. TSMC is calling the new 4nm process as N4P and without any doubt TSMC process is far more efficient and superior than Samsung's process. So yes, iPhone 14 series is gonna be really powerful. The chip shortage is gonna last next year too and this is gonna affect Apple as well. So with the iPhone 14 series, make sure to pre-book the device ASAP cause the iPhone 13 Pro Max is still not in the stock where I live. Now it is clear Apple is doing some massive changes in terms of design like using a titanium frame, flash camera finish and the notches now gone thanks to a hole punch selfie shooter. Shocking news coming in says Apple might be forced to use USB-C because of new European mandatory laws of reducing e-waste. The law says they want common chargers for all devices. Apple is saying if they switch to USB-C then what about the waste of all existing lightning cable. Yeah they surely got a point and this shows Apple won't step down at all. What's really shocking is all analysts says Apple will go all wireless then using USB-C. John Prosser confirms this news and say Apple is gonna go all wireless soon thanks to MagSafe and this may happen as early as next year with the iPhone 14 Pro series. The live images however he saw shows lightning port so let's see. Some huge news coming in from iDrop news they say Apple iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max might feature touch ID. Here with Apple using hole punch selfie camera they might not use in display face ID because it is untested expensive tech so you all know touch ID is the best solution as of now. Some news on iPhone Fold, iDrop News says it's coming in 2023 and will have a design similar to that of the Galaxy Fold or Galaxy Flip. They say Apple want to sell finished product without any issue so they'll take all time in testing and all and then they'll launch a finished product for mass audience. Apple knows what happened with the Galaxy Fold. This video is sponsored by Atlas VPN. It is the best solution to keep your internet data safe in your phone, PC or laptop. With Atlas VPN, you guys can surf internet without being tracked, access anything blocked in your country and do secure transactions on public Wi-Fi. See Atlas VPN is the best solution of all because it's fast, it's secure and icing on cake you can use it in unlimited devices. So yes, if you care about your privacy, you should check this out, use my special link in the description and get an early access to Atlas VPN Black Friday deal, 86% off and 3 extra months for free. This all guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Peace out.